Hello and welcome to a Vector Tuts Quick Tip Screencast. My name is Cheryl Graham and today we're going to talk about Cooler, Adobe's internet color application, and how it integrates with Illustrator. The web address is cooler, that's K-U-L-E-R, dot adobe dot com. On the Cooler website you'll see a five color theme at the top, and below it a name, and the name of the person that created it. All these themes are created by people that are registered with the site, and they can save them to the site for people to look at, to download, and to remix. Each theme has tags at the bottom which allow you to search on that tag, or you can enter your own term in the search field. So for example, I'll enter Seattle, and there are quite a few themes with either that as a tag or that in its name. You can also look through the latest themes, the most popular, the highest rated, and so on. But what's really fun is to create your own. So click on the Create button, and on the next screen you'll see the five colors. These colors are based on the base color, which is in the middle, and each one has a slider underneath it. And depending on the color mode that you use, the sliders may be different. So if I click on CMYK, for example, I get four sliders instead of the three for RGB. You can also copy the hex values if you're working on a web document. The colors are also mapped to this color wheel. The base color is the one with the ring around it. And the themes are based on these color rules. Now these are all color theory terms like analogous and monochromatic. You can see how these work on the color wheel. Complementary, for example, is the color that's opposite the base color. You can change the base color. Here I've changed it to green and then used the analogous rule. And if you choose custom, you can just move the circles independently of one another to make a custom theme. You can also create a theme from an image. You can upload your own photo or get one from Flickr. This is just the default image that comes with Cooler. And as you can see, Cooler has mapped certain areas of the photograph to create the theme. I'm going to upload my own picture, and Cooler will create a theme based on that. I can move the dots around to fine tune the colors, and you can also change the order of the colors simply by dragging and dropping. Now, if you're signed in with your Adobe ID, you can name and save your theme. I'm going to call mine Spring Storm, and I'll give it some tags, and then I'll click Save. And now when I go to My Cooler, which is sort of my homepage on the Cooler site, I can see the newly created theme there. Now I can download this theme as an Adobe Swatch Exchange file, an ASE, so I can use it in Illustrator and other Adobe applications. Now to load that theme into Illustrator, go to the Swatches panel, and choose Other Library from the drop-down menu. There is the .ase file, and when I click OK, it will appear in its own panel somewhere in the work area, and when I click on that color group, it will load into my Swatches panel. So let's say I have an illustration that I want to recolor with this new theme. All you have to do is select all, go up to this recolor icon, or alternately go into the edit menu to edit colors, recolor artwork, and I won't go into detail about the Recolor Artwork panel, but basically those are the colors in my artwork on the left, and if I click on my color theme on the right, it recolors it from my Cooler color group. Now there's a much easier way than to load an ASE file into Illustrator because Cooler is built right in. It's under the Window menu under Extensions. And the Cooler panel displays the recent themes, the most popular, etc., just like the Cooler website. You can limit your search results by time, and of course you can also do a custom search. I'm going to search for the word October, and once I perform the search, the Cooler extension goes out to the web and finds the results. Click on this button to scroll down through the search results, and when you find one that you like, you can add it to the swatches by clicking the icon below, or from the flyout menu on the theme's name. You can also go back to the Cooler website from this flyout menu. And now, as you did before, you can recolor the artwork with this theme that you found in the Cooler extension. Have fun with Cooler without ever leaving Illustrator.